Hello everyone. This is the class of the differential geometry 2. Up to now, we consider the differential geometry of Euclidean space and then we define the surface, actually surface parametrization and then we define the regular surface and the difference between regular surface and the parametric surface is that uh, because uh, when you use the parametrization for the surface these parametrizations is not enough to cover the whole surface so that's why we define the uh, regular surface and then we define the tangent plane of the surface and we know how to deal uh, normal of the surface and tangent plane of the surface. We begin by parametrization of the surface and this is the only set uh, which is there is no any extra st structures on this uh, surface. So it, it is just uh, points. So we don't have uh, too many tool to describe or to investigate the geometry of the surface. By constructing the uh, tangent plane, we have now vector space on the surface. So we have some tool to investigate the, uh, these uh, point of the set. Now we need to have we need to have some measurement tool to investigate the geometric properties of the curve, uh, curve and surface. So that's the topic of the, this class, and we will in introduce the first fundamental of form of the surface. Now, let x, u, and v uh, be a surface parametrization of the surface M and alpha a curve on this surface. Then we have, because the alpha is a, a curve and it depends on the only one uh, variable, it means alpha of t will be x u of t v of t. Now the tangent vector of alpha becomes uh, because x is a multivariable function and half alpha is defined by this x so we need to do use chain rule for the uh, multivariable function. So alpha prime of t becomes partial x with respect to u du over dt this is the one variable plus partial derivative x with respect to v dv over dt. So the tangent ve vector becomes x sub u du over dt plus x sub v dv or dt. So the length of the arc, the curve, we know the first semester is as integral from 0 to t the length of the, this alpha prime. So ds or ds square becomes uh, inner product of alpha prime with alpha prime. Now, using one in the above equation, we have ds over dt square equals x sub u times x sub u and du over dt square plus x sub u x sub v du over dt dv over dt plus x 
sub v x sub v dv over d t square. Thus, we obtain d s square x u sub u x sub u d u square plus 2 times x sub u x sub v d u d v plus x sub v x sub v d v square. Now, we didn't consider t here, but always when you see the this uh, multivariable function du dv they are always depend on the, this t this expression is called the first fundamental form of the surface now the expression 2 can be written in terms of the matrices so ds square becomes multiplication of these three matrices the matrix in the middle this one is called the matrix form of the fa first fundamental form so when you see the, this matrix this is a 2 by 2 square matrix by setting this g11 one one sub 11 one one as the multiplication of x sub u x sub u and x sub u x sub v g12 and g22 as a inner product of x sub v x sub v the above matrix can be written in this form now from this we have ds square as g11 du square plus 2 times g12 du dv and g22 dv square and because g sub 1 2 equals g 1 2 1 we only consider this part so we put the two in front of the, this expression now consider one example let x be the surface parameterization given by u v u times v then if you take the partial derivative with respect to u and v we obtain this one 1 0 v x with respect to v 0 1 u so g11 becomes 1 plus v square g12 becomes u times v and g22 becomes 1 plus u square thus we obtain this g as ds square in this form we just put this expression in the formula now calculating the determinant of the matrix this matrix we obtain this one you see this one is always bigger than zero so it means this g as a bilinear form is positive definite now the po positivity of the first fundamental form we find the in the previous example is valid for general case it means the fundamental form the first fundamental form is always positive definite indeed indeed by direct computation we obtain this determinant just put these values and using the formula we obtained this one the theta is the angle between these two vectors x u and x v hence we obtain this one so if you take out to this x u square x v length square in front of this expression then we obtain this one 1 minus cosine square of theta is sine of square of theta so we obtain this one and we know the from analytical geometry the length of the x u is a vector and this vector the cross product of the, these two vectors and the length 
becomes this one. So this one actually is the area of the parallelogram. So it's not zero. So it, it means determinant of G is always bigger than zero. Now, one can see that G is positive definite. Since G is positive definite, the matrix corresponding to G is non-singular. Therefore, it has inverse matrix. Denote this matrix by G to inverse and the components by G to 1, 1, 2, 2, and G to 1, 2. So we have this inverse matrix here and it's easy to see these components, the components of the inverse matrix and the matrix itself related in this form. This, the A is here the de determinant of the G. Now since this matrix matrix G and matrix G to inverse are inverse to each other, we have this multiplication. It means the multiplication of these two matrix should be identity matrix by 2, 2. So if you calculate this one and make a matrix calculation, then we have this one. This row, mat row and by this column, we obtain this one. And because this one is 1, we obtain this expression as a 1. So then we obtain this one and because this one is 0, we obtain 0. And now we are here, this row, and if you multiply by this matrix, the first one is 0, the second one is 1. So this gives a very useful uh, property of this G and uh, G to J K. So if i and j, j equals to each other, then we have 1. If it's not equal, we have 0. Now, consider another example. Let x be the parameterization of the uh, this surface, m. So, we need to find, we need to find the uh, matrix of the first first fundamental form at and its uh, inverse. So if you take the partial derivative with respect to u and v, you obtain this one, 2 times u, v0, and x with, with respect to v, 0, u, 2 times v. So if you find the g11, which is x u times x u, you obtain this one. And G12, which is the multiplication of the X sub U with X sub V, we obtain this one. And G22 is the multiplication X sub V by itself. So we have this one. So determinant of G becomes this one. We use this determinant to obtain the, these, uh, the components of the inverse matrix. So because G11 is the, in this form, G222 becomes this one. So other components can be obtained very similarly. Now, we construct a measurement tool for the surface. And in the beginning we have only a set only the points so it is difficult to to do anything on the, this set and then we construct the tangent plane it's a vector surface so we have some tools to addition subtraction and uh, etc now we construct the measurement tool as a first fundamental form and this gives me gives us to make a geometry on the surface. So we can calculate the length of the uh, vectors or length of the 
curve and also you can find the angle between two curves what I mean by angle between two curves actually the angle between the tangent vectors at the corresponding points of these uh, curves so let alpha and beta be two, surf two curves on a surface and denote the uh, tangent vectors of alpha by t1 and the beta by t2 and if you denote the the inner product of t1 and t2 is the length of the t1 the length of the t2 and the uh, the cosine of angle bet between these two vectors so we obtain this one you see we can mention about the angle between these two vectors or between these two curves also as I mentioned the fundamental form the first fundamental form gives us a tool to measure to find the length of the curve now we will give one example for this case consider this example the, the our surface is hyperbolic paraboloid we all know very well from the analytical geometry and the, the, the parameterization is given by u v u times v and we are asking to find the length of this curve u equals t v equals t between 0 to 1 on the surface now if you calculate if you take the derivative with, with respect to u and v you obtain this one so g11 becomes 1 plus v square g12 becomes uv and g22 becomes 1 plus u square now if you find the first fundamental form we obtain this one now v and u are given by t so if you put these values in instead of the v and u and consider the du or dt is 1 dv or dt is 1 we obtain this one so if you arrange this, this expression you obtain this 4 times t square plus 2 now ds becomes square 4 times t square plus 2 now if you take out uh, this 2 in front of the square you find 2 times square root t square plus 1 half dt now if you take the integral both sides then s becomes 2 times integral from 0 to 1 square root t square plus 1 half dt and this uh, integral you, you need to find and if you use the substitution method you find this integral and if you find the integral then you have this solution and if you put the endpoints on this function then we obtain s as it is number so this is the length of the this curve on this surface now today we define the the first fundamental form of the surface and in this way we are able to find some geometrical properties of the surface and the curves on the surface now it's possible to find the length angle and by using these two items find some other geometrical properties of the surface and the curves on the surface our next class will be for new geometrical tools to investigate the uh, geometry of the surface and curves on this surface. Up to then, have a nice day.